Yeah, this is, this is the definition. And in general, A times B means adding B to itself, B times. This is strictly for whole numbers. Anything other than whole numbers, you cannot define multiplication this way. And just to remind you too, this is also, now this is what you can, uh, you can think of. That rectangle. So this the, these are the most, most basic aspects of multiplication. Now our job is to look at, let me see. For example, that's, that's the our problem. I'm always about worry about things. No, that's what. Um. Oh no, I got it wrong. I don't care about this. That's too. Uh, Now, why is this interesting? Because I want to find out how much this is. What do I have to do? Do you want to do it? No. No, that's the whole point, right? So you're forced to find a shortcut. How to do it. So we first break it down, as I said, reductionism. Right? The first step is multiplication of single digits. Numbers. That we don't do for the simple reason that there's nothing to talk about. Just memorize them. 3 times 7, what is it? 7 plus 7 plus 7, you add and you find out. That's it. Right. That's for the multiplication table. <coughs> the second step is multiplication of any number. by single digit numbers. And the third step is multiplication by any number. Of course, then when I get to this point, I'm done, right? And the plan is, as uh, the, you can see, that the plan is that this part is what we can build on. This is, you make students learn it. And that's the reason you want students to learn it. Once you learn that, then you do this one. And I'm going to show that. That's the first thing I want to show you. Right. You've done that. Next thing I want to do is, you know this, you're going to get to do this. You notice the characteristic, I mean, of what I've been doing. It's always step by orderly step. You don't need to skip anything, you don't need to be clever, just do it. By the way, the, the element of lack of cleverness is very important. I want to make you see that every step is just quite routine once you see it. And that's important because you don't want to teach cleverness. Cleverness cannot be taught. Basic 
Reasoning, yes, that we can do. And that's what mathematics education is good for, to teach basic reasoning, not cleverness. That's in the individual initiative. Well, some have, some have not. So what? Yeah, that's life. That's, that's life. <coughs> but we want to do what's possible, and we concentrate on maximizing the potential of what is possible. Right? So, no cleverness, just routine. So, so I want to show you how knowing how to multiply single-digit numbers allows you to multiply any number by single-digit number. Now, so the algorithm in that case you all know very well. For example, five thirty-seven multiplied by eight. For example, what is it? So you know the <coughs> multiplication table. Therefore, 8 times 7, you know, is 56, right? Oops. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 plus 5 is 9. 8 times 5 is 40, so it's 42. Now I, by the way, so you notice that I tend to slur over the algorithm. You know it, I know it, we all know it, and in case of any doubt, it's precisely done in the book, so let's not waste time on that, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I said I won't talk about it, but I guess I have to, because you, you know what's an algorithm? Yeah, I never said that. You know what's an algorithm? You know what an algorithm is? What does it mean? No. Yeah. It's a step-by-step -step procedure mm -hmm. that leads to a final outcome. Right? Finite number, not infinite. Uh, some of you might have heard of what you call um, successive approximation. After infinite number, number of steps, you get to a limit. That's not algorithm. When we say algorithm, we mean, it, we mean what you can get in finite time. Finite number of steps, okay? So, so everything we've done is clearly written out. This can be clearly written out. Now, I don't want to do it because it's a waste of time here, but it's in the book. So it just, it's clearly written out. Don't forget, right? I'm not making it up. All right, so that is the, you all know this. Now, of course, now we have to explain it, right? Why is this true? Let's see. 537 is equal to, oh, times. Times 8 is 5 times 10 squared plus 3 times 10 times a uh, plus seven. Times eight. When you see this, what must be racing through your mind? Distributed law. law, right? So you distribute it. And when I use distribute, distributed law, I'm multiplying, but when I multiply in, I'm not multiplying a single number, but I'm multiplying product of two numbers. If you do that, you recall what we call theorem 2.2. Same as in addition. If I multiply, I find a collection of numbers, I can multiply them in any order I want. Uh -huh. Right? <coughs> Therefore, I skip the step. This then becomes five times eight times 10 squared. Is that okay with you? Yeah. And same for the others. Plus 3 times 8 times 10. Plus 7 times 8. So this is distributive law. And now here is where you uh, 
go to the well, so to speak. That's the, that's, you're supposed to dip down and get you what you need. They learn the multiplication table, and that's time to use it. Right? So I'm relying on the first step. So, that would be 40 times 10 squared plus 24 times 10 plus 56. Now, well, then you do the usual housekeeping. Right? You see these things? They are unsightly. Because you like to have the single digit plus single digit plus single digit. This is two digits. So let's start with that. So this plus 50 plus 6. Right? And then you do housekeeping again because this is 50, sorry, I should write it as 5 times 10, right? <laughs> 5 times 10. And then housekeeping again. This doesn't belong here. It belongs to the middle term, right? So now, This should be all over again. 24 plus 5 plus 6 times 10 plus 6. That, so I have to go to the other. Uh oh, what's the number there? Oh, yeah. That's that. oh, yeah. oh, oh. Okay. <coughs> Um, so now, this one, right? It's, it's 24, the 24 doesn't belong, the 20. Right? So, so this, that's 20 plus 4. Times 10, uh, uh, 20 plus 4 plus 5, sorry. Yeah. Plus 5. Plus 5. No, plus 9. Plus 4 oh, so, plus 5. Oh, no, plus 4 plus 5. I erase it and repeat the same mistake. Right? This is. Now, this is somewhat tedious, but since we're doing it for the first time, we write it out. So what you observe is that this is 20 times 10 plus 4 plus 5 plus 10 plus 6. Right. Boring as it, as it is, but you understand what's going on, right? Now, you know quite well. This has no place here, right? This is, this is, so since I have red chalk, so use it. This is what? Two times 10 squared, yeah? Therefore, what I have is, 40. Do you not want to write that as 4 times 10 cubed? I'm sorry? Mm -hmm. Do you want to write that as? Oh, no. One at a time. Not yet. One at a time. Uh -huh. Right? How, we work from right to left. Therefore, I, we dealt with the right column. I deal with the middle column. When time comes, I do with the other column. Right? But right now, it's 10 squared. Now, not I write 10 squared, yes, but if you believe this part, that's where the 2 belongs, right? Mm -hmm. So therefore, it's 
40 plus 2 times 10 squared. Yes? Distributive law again. I've shifted this to here. Plus 4 plus 5 times 10 plus 6. Now you notice, except for this, I've taken care of two columns, correct? Mm -hmm. Right there. Six, uh, 24 and then 5. Mm -hmm. So now I deal with this. Well, that is quite obvious. So this is what? 4 times 10 plus 2. Oh boy. The parentheses pile up. Plus four plus five times ten plus six. But now I can do it because ten squared and ten, it's ten times ten times ten, ten three of them, so ten cubed, right? So that is equal to four times ten cubed. Plus two times ten squared plus four plus five times ten times plus six, and that's exactly the algorithm. This, this. You see the two here. That's a two. And I forgot, sorry, I should, uh, I forgot to enter this, sorry. Yeah, I should enter this here. But I just skipped this step, so I just directly wrote it here. Again, you should think of this as this. That's what you should think of. So zero plus zero plus four. See this? Right? Any questions about So you can see that the 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 most important step really is the distri distributive law because it's the distri distributive law that allows you to reduce the multiplication of an arbitrary number of digits a number with arbitrary number of digits by a single digit into single digit multiplication. That's the main thing. The multiplication algorithm is really a, is a showcase for the distributive law. As I told you, that's the thing that really you see often again and again and again and again. Now, I'll stop for half a minute, maybe. See if you have a question. Yeah? Um, so when, I uh, mean, I understand the first time you've done the 4 plus 5, I mean, we carried over the, I mean, from, from that other side. But you brought it all the way down to here. When do you ever change it to a 9? Change to what? This is 4 plus 5. So you've got 4 plus 5 all the way down. No, no. The, uh, the purpose of this is to make you see what's being done. Yeah. And how do you get the 9? It's 4 plus 5. Yeah, um, yes, I yes. see. And I'm just wondering, you know, at the, at, is there a particular place where you would say to your students, well, we see that this is 4 plus 5, and from now on I'm going to write 9. Rather than, I mean, is there a reason to keep the 4 plus 5? No, just to, the only reason is to keep it all the way to the end for you to see exactly what's being added to what. You s I mean, I exhibit the process, I hope. Oh, yeah. It's it's just that should it's you have one more step where you add where you, you add should, the you, should, nine, you should, you should, you should, you okay, should. So you I show it's 96. Sure. 4,002. Well, you should just write it. It's 4 
two, nine, six, right? That's ultimately what you should write, but I just keep those. I mean, how much you want to show, you know, this is, this is, don't forget, this is part of the explanation. This is not the, not I the. Know, it, it's just that that looks to me, I look at them and I see 40 plus 50 rather than. Sorry, 40 like, plus 50? Yeah, it's 4 10 times 10 and 5 times 10. Oh, I think you should resist that temptation. Yeah. <laughs> what? Self-control is, <laughs> is a virtue. <laughs> Too much distributive law. The morals of Wu. I'm sorry? The morals of Wu. That's right, that's right, that's right. We learned everything in here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me talk to your parents. <laughs> Please do. <coughs> now, you ready? So, let's say, what was the number I gave? 537 multiplied by what? 84. 84. Yeah. Good. So now, the assignment is. Instead of 8, do it for 4. And explain likewise. You don't have to explain, t well, uh, can you do it? Yeah, see if you can work it, work it out on your neighbor. In other words, instead of just writing all this down, you see, writing all this down is really nothing. But the whole point is that as you write it down, you say, this corresponds to this, and so Try that on your neighbor. I want you to get good practice on this one. Please do. All right? It's okay. Five, 37 times four. Try this one. And, 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 and. Point your fingers to say here, correspond to what? This, uh, correspond to what? And things like that. Yeah. This is not complete. I mean. These are just numbers. Four. Four. Forty-eight, right? Do I have forty-eight? Whatever I wrote down, I want that number. Oh, that's all right. So you have eight, nine, eight. Look, just four. We're just doing the single digit because that's the second step. This is the second step. This is the second step. Multiplying numbers by a single digit. That's all I care about. That's all you should care about at this point. Seven times what? I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Oh. Thank you.